Hi, my name is William. I'm a heavy duty mechanic and I've been uh, in the trade for over 30 years now. And I'm gonna be answering some of your questions today. Job security. My friend, I've never been unemployed. How's that? When I first started my apprenticeship, if you do want to do international work, you kind of move around a bit more. It's, uh, you're not in a shop all the time. Once you succeed, the money comes to you. There'll be guys throwing money at you. There's different ways to get started in the uh, industry. The old fashioned way where you start helping your father or, your, uh, or you can uh, work with someone that's been in the trade for years and that's one way to start. There's a lot of uh, people that, um, students that actually uh, come from a farming background and, and they've in the, in the farm, they're always fixing equipment and things like that. So they're, they're technically savvy. If you're not technically savvy in that way, school is probably your best bet. The programs here in Canada are, are very good. They've created a program that uh, gets you started in the trade, gives you all the uh, knowledge skills that you need to start and, and work safely in the trade. Schooling is one of the best ways to get started. Even if you work in your own cars, uh, you know, the important thing is to have those technical skills, right? The psychomotor skills. You know, going from uh, mind, what you read, what you take in, to actually doing the work. That's what's important. So those uh, hands-on skills are, are uh, transferable between uh, fixing your car to actually fixing a machine. There aren't any machines that, uh, you know, I would say this is a specific type of machine to start off with but anything that you can get your hands on is a good start. The thing is, uh, if you have to choose between automotives and heavy mechanics, heavy duty mechanics, I would say go with heavy duty mechanics. It tends to be much more rewarding. The difference as well is um, if you're in automotives, most likely you're going to be working at a dealership or a car shop and it's uh, they really push on time you know they say you have 30 minutes to do this you have 10 minutes to do that in the heavy duty trade it's more important to do the job well and do it once you don't want to be redoing work so uh, if you see this machine behind me if it has to go out in the field and work it's, it could be remote location somewhere, uh, two, three hours away, working in the bush, working in a field, and you, you don't want it to break down. So you will find that uh, mechanics aren't really pushed with deadlines and times. They're kind of more free to do the job well, do it right the first time. You know, it's kind of like that attitude. So uh, in automotives, it's more rush, let's get the job done out the door, let's get another customer in, you know, and so forth. And, and it becomes very uh, intense and stressful for mechanics. Another difference is location, okay? Where you might find work in automotives or heavy duty. Heavy duty is most likely gonna be in industrial areas. Me, myself, I had to go into uh, mining industries up north, away from uh, my family, friends, and things like that. But it's something that I loved and, and um, you know, you may have to do things like that. I know many mechanics that have done that. So you may have to work remotely for some cases. The nice thing about heavy duty is that it opens the doors to more uh, opportunities, let's say. Uh, working internationally, doing mining uh, jobs as well, doing heavy duty uh, construction work you kind of move around a bit more. It's, uh, you're not in a shop all the time. The reason I took it up is because I love the mining, I love construction, and I love being around all this equipment. And I don't like to be inside a shop. I'd rather work outdoors. Rain or shine, snow, cold weather or not, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to be outdoors a uh, hundred times more than being in a shop. And that's why I, I love working on machines.
whatever you decide to do, whatever route you decide to take, make sure it's something that you love, okay? Make sure you're passionate about it. Make sure you learn about it, read about it. Don't just go to school thinking that, you know, oh, the instructor is going to teach me everything I need to know. No. The onus is back on you. When you do something, do it well, do it 100% and dedicate yourself to it 100%. And uh, you're going to see that it doesn't become a career, but it's, it's a way of life. I know it sounds a bit corny. If it's something, if you do want to do international work uh, or, or work locally or work in construction or in mining, you'll be able to do that. This industry allows that. Okay, it needs you, it needs uh, technicians, it needs skilled workers. Find what you love, do it well, do it 100% and don't focus on the money, okay? Because the money will come. Do your job well, learn how to do it properly uh, and safely, of course, and you'll see that uh, the money will follow you. So a lot of guys get into this trade thinking, uh, oh, I'm gonna make a lot of money but you see they, they don't succeed because their heart is not in it. So grab those textbooks, get online, watch videos, learn about it, ask people about it that have been in the trade, get involved in it. Learn how to do your job, learn how to do it well and love it. Once you succeed, the money comes to you. There'll be guys throwing money at you, okay? So that's important. So do what you love, do it well. Job security, my friend, I've never been unemployed. Job security in this trade, uh, if you're someone that's a, that, you know, if you love what you do, you'll never be unemployed. You'll always have work, no matter what you do. So if you wanna know more about the trade and uh, you know, have questions in regard to mechanics. Um, you know, there's also commercial transport. There's also heavy duty. Ask us about it. You know, comment below. Let us know if you have any questions, inquiries. You want to know more about the trade, tools, equipment, uh, procedures, processes, things like that. Just comment below and uh, let us know. We'll, we'll answer as many questions as we can. So to support this channel, like, comment and subscribe. If you want to support us through buying tools or parts and equipment, uh, go to FortisHD.com.